Okay, my friends, Roger once again. They're up around Mars, and they're looking at things on Mars, and I'll show you what they're looking at right now. But before I do that, this is a tendon ball. That is a tendon ball. That is the tendon, well, it's a tendon enthesis. I call them tendon balls. And this is the abrupt transition where it breaks right here. The same thing with this one here. This one's quite heavily weathered. Now, moons are also... They sang songs of it when I was a boy. Even now, having seen so much, I cannot tell where truth gave way to myth. Beyond night and smoke, the gods raged in blindness, their hands without purpose but to wield the tools of war. head of one, severed from its body, spilled blood into the sky, filling it with both light and dark. The final dream of the dead god, his sons. The world was theirs. Anything they dreamed became manifest. In time, one son dreamt of mankind, and so came their first breath. For ages untold and uncounted, men and women lived in the shadow of the suns. To man, the suns were uncaring gods of their world. What they learned of it, they taught themselves. And they survived. The sons dreamed of rain, so floods came. And mankind learned of loss. A man came to the sun and begged him to dream her once again. He learned another lesson that day. His gods were not merely indifferent, they were cruel. He swore revenge. He promised his followers the world, and then he showed them how to take it. The blood, the violence, it bound them to him, and they named the man Seer, the first king of men. For an age, Seer led the hunt for the remaining sons. He struck again and again. His rage was insatiable. Deep in the snowy foothills, Seer found the son who had first dreamed man, the same son who had refused him. Knowing his dreams had come to kill him, the son fled up to the mountain's peak. As a child, they told me if you listened carefully, you could still hear the cries of the battle echoing on the wind. Seer proclaimed his victory to herald a new era of peace. They say it lasted but a year. Glory be to Seer, the first king, same as all who have followed him. One man waited atop the mountain. Perhaps he felt sorrow at the death of the world's old masters. Perhaps simple curiosity held him there. What he expected to find, I cannot say. What he did find, the bloom.
He saw the true dark beyond the night. The sons of gods were the sons of gods themselves. And they too were sons of gods. On and on. Every god... Man's newfound world was nothing but dust. And he vowed that he would spare the race of man this truth. He vowed to keep from them the bloom and the scope of its revelation. He chose to grant mankind a gift. Ignorance. Eventually, men came. He knew that they would. They were desperate for hope. He spared them nothing. They would not be the last. And so it went for ages until... Perhaps the burden had grown too great. Perhaps the archer was simply too skilled. No matter the cause, he fell. And the cycle began anew. Another dread revelation. Another guardian to stand watch over the bloom. Ayahuasca contains dimethyltryptamine, DMT, a molecule shaped very similar to serotonin, a neurotransmitter in our brains. Ingesting ayahuasca and flooding the brain with DMT leads to what many describe as spiritual experiences, strong, vivid visions, a sense of oneness with the universe, even a sense of oneself dying. The toad and it's the Sonora Desert and it has the venom in it. And you smoke it. Once I try it, boom! Everything is went so fast. And when I fell out, the only thing I was conscious about was out. My brain was still functioning, my thoughts, I could still talk to myself, I could hear my mind. And I was saying, I fucked up. And I killed myself. Did you kill the Yeah. Ego? I was like, I'm dying. It was just really mind blowing. Spiritual in nature, though, yeah, right? Like you're the, just yeah. Really, um, my whole life totally changed. It sounds like a, a movie strip. It's great, but it's really. A... I too came here seeking hope. Two tyrant kings had been at war since my birth. Just before the harvest season, their conflicts came through our fields. Our crops burned. My children starved, wounded, raging. I set out. We fought, and he fell. Many times I've wished it had gone the other way. I wanted to know the truth behind the myths of my youth. I learnt it. I remember now so vividly my first sight of it, my first breath of it. It was intoxicating. All that I'd hoped, more. I went beyond the stars, beyond time. There I saw the truth. In the face of the endless night, everything mankind fights and dies for, lives and hopes for, it is meaningless. It is all for naught. And I knew then what every guardian before me had known, that humanity must be protected from that truth. Why not destroy the bloom if it was so powerful? I ask you... Who are we to destroy the mysteries of the night? We merely stand at the threshold between men and God.